The Dataverse network is an open source application for publishing, sharing, referencing, extracting and analysing data. It is created by the Institute for Quantitative Social Science at Harvard University. Although aimed originally at social science data, a dataverse can be created to hold research data on any subject. For example, the World Agroforestry Centre, ICRAF, has a dataverse currently with 22 studies. An introductory video is available on the home page of the Dataverse Network project at thedata.org. If you haven't already done so, we recommend you view this short video and download the fact sheet before continuing here. One thing that often stops researchers sharing their data is the belief that they won't get the credit for the work they have done. With Dataverse, a unique citation is automatically generated when a study is created and this should be used as a reference to the study. The citation has six components, the authors, the title, the year and distributor are the human readable elements. Of these only the title is compulsory although author and year are recommended. The two machine readable elements are a unique global identifier often called a handle beginning with HDL and a universal numeric fingerprint, a UNF. Here we see an example of a citation for a study on the SSC Dataverse. In this instance, we don't have author, year or distributor, so this just includes the title as the human readable element. For more information about citations, go to the Data Citation page of the Dataverse Network website. There are two options for hosting your Dataverse. The easiest is to have your Dataverse hosted at Harvard. This is a free service to all researchers. The infrastructure at Harvard is very good and great support is available to help you set up your Dataverse. You can also include your own branding in the header, including working links, so that your Dataverse has the look and feel of your own website. For example, the Statistical Services Center Dataverse has live links to, in the header section taking you to the SSC website. The other option is self-hosting and you can download and install the relevant software. This gives you more administrative control but you would need an IT expert to install and manage the site including upgrading, taking backups, etc. You would also need good server infrastructure for hosting the application. We would generally recommend the first option, i.e. having the Dataverse hosted at Harvard. To find out more about the two options, follow the links to as a service and as a software package on the Dataverse network website. Each Dataverse contains studies and collections of studies and each study contains cataloguing information describing the data plus the data files themselves and any associated files, e.g. reports, results files, study guidelines, etc. Collections are optional. You can have all your studies at the same level in your Dataverse. This is fine if you have just a few studies. But as more and more studies are added, you may find it useful to divide them into collections. Think of this in terms of how you might divide your files into folders on your PC. In the SSC Dataverse, there are five studies. One is the Targeted Input Program, and the others are for Starter Pack Evaluation Program. Within the Starter Pack, there are three modules. So we have the top level, which we've made the collection, which contains the three modules. Our archive files on our local drive reflects this structure, with a top level folder for Starter Pack 2, and three subfolders for the modules. When a study is released, the default is for public access, but you can choose to restrict the entire study, giving access to named individuals only, or you can restrict individual files within a study, even if the study itself has public access. For example, on the ICRAF Dataverse, there are some studies that are restricted as indicated by the padlock symbol. 
On the CCAS dataverse, the baseline household survey study is public access, but the data files are restricted. Dataverse is primarily an archiving facility. However, you can create a dataverse and start creating studies early on in your project, gradually building the archive as each stage of the project is completed. Studies are only made public once they are released, so you can continue building your archive until you are ready to release it. If you have a data and document store for your project files, then creating your archive should be relatively straightforward as you can keep the same structure. This video is just a brief introduction to the concept. Later videos will show how to start creating your dataverse.